Hello again. So now we are going to talk about parallax and how important that is to astronomers. Uh, this was also discussed, I believe, in chapter one, but I'm going to go over it again for the lab here. So finding distances to something. So we had a discussion in the lecture about how you do triangulation with a tree. So we had an ocean, let me get my, my pen working here. So we had a river, sorry. And then there was a tree over here. And then there's a dude. And then he walked this baseline and he was able to measure this angle and he knew this distance. And so you know those two things, you know the angle and you know the distance, and then you can calculate this distance. I, I'm sorry, I just got, I, for some reason, I just activated Alexa. She's over in my room talking. Anyway, so that's triangulation. So stellar parallax though, is we, hold on one moment. Alexa, echo, dismiss, echo. This, oh, this is ridiculous. Echo. Echo. Dismiss. I don't want to have to start this video all over again. So we're just going to go with the craziness for a minute. And I apologize for that quite a bit. I don't, Alexa's crazy today. All right. So we're starting over again. Here's the sun. We. Here is the orbit of Earth. There is Earth. And we see stars in the background. So we are able to see where this star is. And it looks like it's really close to that star. I'm going to add another star over here. Blink. Then when Earth moves, Six months later, it's on the other side of the sun, which we haven't really gotten into a lot of orbital stuff yet. But six months later, it's on the other side. Of, it's on the other side of the solar system. And then we look at, I have to get my pretty, oh, I should use the star one. Oh my gosh. Anyway, now when we look at that star, whoops, it looks like it's really close to that star. So it's shifted amongst the background stars on the celestial sphere. Remember we talked the celestial sphere is slightly different than actual distances and stuff, but it looks like it's on the celestial sphere. So we are able to find an angle and a side. We know the distance between the sun and the earth, and then we can measure this angular separation. So there's a distance change here. We talked about um, you know, uh, you use your angular measurements to determine the distance and we're able to calculate then that distance. So that's all that parallax is. Um, I know I described it once before in the lecture, but I just want to let you know, it's fairly simple. It's pretty awesome. It's just math. We are able to tell how far away we are from other stars just by using math. And I love math. So anyway, so that is that for Parallax, I think you're almost done with lab one. Congratulations on that. Don't forget to do all your other work. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to remember to stop share. You had a little bit of craziness with my Echo, uh, my Alexa, whatever, acting crazy. I shouldn't say that loud. I don't, I'm going to get in trouble again. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Sorry for the, no, I'm not sorry. You got entertained with my crazy house. Anyway, um, if you have any 